today, not just as a member of this esteemed house, but as a daughter, a sister, and a proud descendant of those who fought tirelessly for the freedom we hold dear. I urge us to reflect on the values upon which our great nation was built as we consider the impeachment of the Deputy President. I want to take you back to the times before independence. Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga is one of the people who fought for independence. And the colonialists actually offered him to be part of the, to become the president of Kenya. He declined and left that for Jomo Kenyatta to become the president. And in 1964, Jaramogi became the first vice president of the Republic of Kenya. Exactly two years down the line, like the two years we now have with the deputy president, Jaramogi decided that due to the ideologies that he was holding, which were different, which differed from the president, he decided to step down and leave the position of vice president, not for his own good, but for the greater good of the, of the Republic of Kenya. He actually stepped down. I would like in my own statement to ask the deputy president that Kenya is larger than you. Kenya is a big country that we need to protect. If I were you, Mr. Deputy President, please take the honorable route that some of your predecessors had taken, like Jaramogi, and step down from this position of presidency. Don't take Kenya through the valley of the abyss you want, the dark abyss you want Kenya to go through. Secondly, I would like to say something. I was not one of the people who was actually wanting this, uh, this uh, impeachment of the deputy president. I felt that the deputy president's impeachment was not the main problems that we were having in Kenya and that we had other issues. But having heard how the president spoke last night, I am completely convinced from that statement that the deputy president must go and he must go as soon as possible. One of the reasons why I say that is that we are not here for our personal grandeurs and our personal wealth. Kenya, if, if Bana, the deputy president is mourning because his father uh, is going to turn in his grave because of the, of the wealth that is, is being accused of, I wonder what the people like Bildad Kagia, Jaramogi Ogingo Ding, and all those who fought for us to get through this, uh, to get to where we are, through multi-party, Ogingo Ding and all went through house arrest, detention, to make sure that we get the multi-party that we are enjoying in this country, the democracy that we are enjoying. How are they feeling in their grave when now the deputy president is talking about making Kenya a company? What company are you talking about and shareholders? When Kenya is a country that we have a sovereign country in Kenya, Mr. Deputy President, I was a bit on your side, but you have hanged yourself with your own rope. What whoever to, uh, in, informed you to go to the TV yesterday did you a very big disservice. And for, for that, I support the motion. Bora, bora.